Anderson Silva is in attendance tonight here at Rose Garden, and he is watching this fight very closely. He just looked over at me, raised his eyebrows, and made a big smile when he heard that. <laughs> Damian Maya, 11 and 0 in his mixed martial arts career, 5 and 0 inside the octagon. Some have called him Hoist Gracie 2.0. The, the newer and, and more dominant jiu-jitsu version of Hoist Gracie. I'll tell you one thing, you have called him as talented a Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist as you've seen in MMA. I think he's the very best. The very best Brazilian jiu-jitsu stylist in MMA. He's learning striking. He's working very hard with Vanderlei Silva and all of his coaches to improve on that aspect of his game, but his jiu-jitsu is outstanding. Absolutely perfect, flawless, technical jiu-jitsu. Some of the best in the world, and definitely, in my opinion, the best in mixed martial arts. An incredible threat on the ground. The big advantage that Nate Marquardt has, though, is that Nate Marquardt is a threat everywhere. Damian Maya has won 80% of his career fights by submission. He is the second most active passer of the guard in UFC history. All five of his wins in the octagon by submission. Four of those, submission of the night. He's so talented. And Frank Mir, who's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, said after training with Damian Maia, he told me, he goes, I'm a brown belt. He goes, I'm not even a black belt. He goes, that's a black belt. Vanderlei Silva said, you know what? Damian Maia is 15, 20 pounds lighter than me, and he toys with me. And that's Vanderlei Silva. Yeah, he submitted Frank Mir off of his back, and he submits a lot of guys off of his back. He said just. He just got literally perfect jiu-jitsu, very technical. He's an extremely intelligent guy, and he applies that intelligence perfectly to jiu-jitsu. But obviously, this is not jiu-jitsu. This is MMA. Well, so far, he's perfect in his mixed martial arts career.